Welcome back, everybody. I'm Josway, and this is another episode of Let's Play Skyrim. Let's go ahead and continue. Now, when last we left our hero, Adarantzel Rangefire, he had delved deep within the ancient Dwemer ruin of Afkant, or something like that. Uh, to, he'd gotten through the, the upper portion uh, to the city beneath, and dropped down from on high. Oh, wait, there's something here. Well, anyway, this place has already been infested with, like, uh... Uh, uh, <clears throat> art automatons, and there's been signs of Falmer as well, and Chorus. So we're definitely going to be on our guard here. Um, this is the quest we're doing, uh, discerning the transmundane. I met Septimus Cygnus, a brilliant but mad scholar living in the northern ice fields. He directed me to a dwarven observatory that supposedly houses an Elder Scroll. He doesn't care about the scroll itself, and wants me to use some kind of machine there to inscribe a dwarven lexicon with the scroll's knowledge and bring it to him. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to find this hidden city of Blackreach, which is supposedly at the deepest, darkest depths of the earth, hidden beneath this, uh, this other city here. Uh, Alft Hand. Alright, so like Alf's Hand, but with a T. Uh, Alf being the furry, lovable alien, of course. Yeah. And that's right, there was an expedition uh, that came in here and, and, and sort of got slaughtered along the way, trying to trying to make their way through. They got stuck by the storms. Okay, so we dropped down, um, but I do want to see what's up there. Uh, how do we... This thing leads some, somewhere. Let's see where this goes. Okay. And so there's a chest here. All right. Hmm. Well, it's sure worth a lot, even if it's useless. I don't know, maybe... Whoop. Maybe we shouldn't have, uh, have dropped down there. I'm not quite seeing the way back up, as it were. Oh, wait a minute, here we, here we go. Over here, there's some stairs? Yeah, okay, there's a path down here. All right, up, oh, and a bad guy. Oops, I should not have done that. That was definitely the wrong... <laughs> I just rallied that guy. Gave him extra health and stamina. That's not not really what I wanted to do at all. All right, there we go. Lydia capped him. Good job, Lydia. You know what I haven't done in a while that I gotta do? I gotta remember to do, that is. Uh, soul Biter. I gotta remember to tag some souls. Do I even have any empty soul gems right now? Um, these are all filled. Okay, those are some empty commons. I think some of these Falmer are common souls. It's got some, got three graders, some lessers, and some petties. Okay, good. So yeah, I got some empty soul gems. I just have to go remember. I have to remember to. Uh... Okay, so like now, basically. Yeah, nice. Captured that soul, baby. It's gonna be nice. I need to. Um... I think before the final confrontation, I need to get my my uh, my enchanting up to a hundred and get some, whoa. I need to get my enchanting up to a hundred and get some serious uh, serious gear for myself. Nice. Okay, he had a garnet on him. Oh no, he fell. Oh, okay. Up. Oh. Oops. Oh, I killed him too much. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's too dead. All right. So yeah, there's clearly uh, clearly a Falmer infestation here at the bottom of Alft Hand, uh, but that's all right. We can deal with them. You know, we're prepared, and we can save and reload if we die. Let's continue onwards. See what we got through here. Okay, that's that's one of those transport tubes, so something might drop out of that. And is that what is that? Is that a trip line? Activate tripwire? How do I disarm tripwire? What is that even gonna do? Oh wait a minute. Oh I see. Oh yeah, look, there's spikes on the wall there. Nasty, massive spikes that are gonna come flying out. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna back off a little bit. We're gonna try and burn it with fire. Yeah, see that? Nice, I'm glad I caught that. 
Oh, what is in that? Some kind, it's studded with some kind of gems. Wow, that looks nasty. Really nasty. Glad I didn't uh, didn't miss that. And then, yeah, I'm worried that something's going to drop out of there, some sort of enemy. So let's see if that happens too. Let's see if my powers of prescience are anything. No. Okay, maybe not. So I'm not the all-seeing, all-knowing eye after all. Well, that's that's a disappointment, really. Okay. Wow, look at that. There's there's flame dripping out of that, like some sort of napalm or something. Oh no, it's just an ordinary flamethrower. Still. Let's try not to walk through it. Wow, there's look look how far down it goes. Holy moly. Well we gotta find a safe way down though. I mean I suppose I could just uh do I even have Ethereal Shout? I don't know if I have that on this character. Yeah, I could just become ethereal and probably drop to the bottom safely, but where's the fun in that, right? You want to kind of explore a little bit, too. Have a little fun with the game. All right. Let's see what we got through here. Let's do a little quick save. All right. Okay, so that, that looks like some sort of Falmer tent over there. Or Falmer tent, so yeah, we want to be... I'm going to assume that there's some enemies nearby. Okay. Let's see what we can see. Yep, there's a Falmer right there. Okay. You know what? Actually, hold on. Um, I want to maybe do some fun, like, some stuff I wouldn't normally do here. Since he's inside that tent. Let's, um... I don't have a fireball, but I could put a... No, I had to have to get up close to do a fireball. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there's nothing <laughs> really all that interesting to do to him. But let's go get him. What are you doing? Sorry, Lydia. Sorry, my bad. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! What has he got on him? Oh! What did he do? Holy moly! What what was that about? What did he even do to me? He must have an enchanted bow or something. I go. He just decimated me like instantly. Wow! That was that was pretty pretty frightening. Whatever that guy did, it was it was nasty. Oh boy. There we go. Okay, this is going much better this time. <laughs> it's focused on Lydia for one thing. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. That's kind of <laughs> kind of how I was expecting it to go. What 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 did this other guy have? He must have poisoned his arrow or something cuz even after I used those potions it still killed me. Yeah, yeah. He had poison. This only does 25, but I'm sure if he used it it does 250. So maybe that's what was going on. That was crazy though. It just destroyed me like instantly. I should know better than to get up into melee range. I'm a mage for crying out loud. I have a hundred hit points. And make any make any potions we can, let's see. Hmm. Oh, okay, let's make a fortify magic potion. Why not? Oh wait a minute, can I make a restore magic? Yeah, that's the same stuff, isn't it? Okay, that's probably too expensive to use, but let's do this. Poison damage, what? Okay, that seems... Okay. 
so that's fine. Let's take one of those fortify magicka potions. I mean, why not, right? When else are we gonna use them, if not in the middle of a Dwemer ruin? I've never been more ready. What does this do? 18 points for 60 seconds, nice. There we go. Okay, so let's do a quick save. And we will continue. Remembering uh, to be a little bit more generous about our adversary's ability to kill us. And not be so dismissive of them and therefore die. I should have calmed him is what I should have done. Fire trap. I don't know if I want to set it off. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Calmed him. Calmed him. Excellent, excellent, excellent. There's one left. Missed him, missed him. Shit. I'm messing this up. There we go. No, Lydia. Well, I calmed some of them. That slowed him down. Lydia's handling that one. Oh. All right. So let's just deal with this the old-fashioned way now. Where's the other one? There's like more than one, wasn't there? Yeah, here we go. They're back. There we go. Okay, he's dead. There's one more. He's already dead. All right. Man, these guys are playing for keeps, huh? Doesn't this eventually shut off? No? Okay. He came around through the backside, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna quick save and I've got I've got calm up. So the first thing I want to try and do is calm them in position correctly. Like make sure I have the shot and everything and I'm safe and my health isn't in danger. Then Lydia and I can kill them together. Safely. Oh look, they're cooking all these mushrooms. It's hilarious. Here we go. Chest. Tricked me. Tricked me. Here we go. Continue onwards. Oops. Here we go and okay. Okay, there's two ways to go here. One to the low ground and went to the high ground. Oh, I think I hear something. I hear something. It may have been just machinery, though. Yeah, let's check this out first, carefully. Whoa! Something's something's up and about. There's, yeah. Whoa! It's like some sort of battle master. 